We're ready to go, Commander. If you need a Skulljack, we can build one at any time. Really? Any time? It says exp 14 days to create the Skulljack! And my engineers are a little bit busy, so... Yeah, no, we'll... I really should get this done, so that way once- I feel like once the Black Sight mission is done, that's the last mission for the tutorial, because we're starting to have, uh, more of the things available. Obviously, we're able to start exploring the Geoscape. I still need to figure out what- uh, how you build relay towers. I guess this is it? It looks like it increases how much money you make from a region that you already have. What's the cost for? 50 supplies, and it takes some time to build. Okay. So I guess it's more of a, it's a investment, kind of. You put down 50 onto it now, and in the future, over the course of the months, you'll get more and more money from Avenger it. Plotting new Very course. interesting. And then obviously once you get the continent bonuses from the places, so those are like basically the satellites. Minus having to care about whether or not people are going to be panicking. Commander, we just got word that the resistance hit an advent supply line. We have an opportunity to salvage some high value materials, assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first. Yeah, sure, why not? What do we got? Okay. It is way the hell back in India. Do we keep just going back and forth? Operation Pungent Anger. Wow. Setting course for the Indian That is an incredible zone. operation name. Pungent Anger. <laughs> I feel like that could be the nickname for a villain. Who are you? I am the Pungent Anger. Oh. Well, all right, I guess. Uh We got hardcore. Is it hardcore the one I hired? When did I get hardcore? <laughs> That's a, I know I I know I bought Archie, but I don't remember ever buying James Johnson hardcore. Well, you know what? Maybe James Johnson will actually get a chance to do something today. Actually, okay, let me see something. We would like. We're screwed. We're we're so fucked. We have lost so many classes in the first month alone. Holy crap! All right, well. James Johnson, hardcore. Is there anything I could put on? I could give him a med kit, just in case. Or I could leave him with a grenade in hopes that he'll become something a little better. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll give the, the healing thing to him because he's going to be all the way to the front while our snipers are chilling out in the back. I like how James Johnson came up to us with the resistance armor. Sky Ranger deployed. AKA the We're old XCOM stuff. Five five. We're in the pipe, five by five. From what we can gather, resistance forces disabled an advent transport near here, and they've left the gear for us to seize. We expect the aliens are going to move to recover the transport, but it's worth the risk to investigate. We'll need to secure the site, eliminate any hostile resistance, and recover the item. Like, half of that text did not match up what was being said. Jesus Christ, subtitles. <laughs> I probably should have brought two rookies on this mission. Five. The disabled advent convoy is just ahead. Engage and eliminate all hostile forces. The problem is I don't know what a raid's gonna be like. Avoid destroying critical supplies, neutralize all enemy targets. Well, at the very least we start off in concealment. And it doesn't look like we have any turn requirements just yet, so that makes me pretty happy. So that means I'm gonna move forward. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Without the introduction of human DNA, these creatures once operating under the guise of Fen Men now show their true form. A purely reptilian species. No oh, great. reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. You say that, but, you know, faceless? Faceless. The faceless are a thing. Okay. 
We're gonna need Bessie to move all the way in the back behind this tree so she can get some good shots. Unfortunately, we already moved up everybody else. So Dice is just gonna have to deal with the fact that she's in a really crappy position to deal with these people. Okay. We're gonna move up around this corner just because I want to see that. if I can get a peek on anybody else. I don't know how long this patrol can end up being. Yeah, they're not going. They're not going that far. So I want this dead as soon as possible. Absolutely. I want to try something. So what does this do? Can I take this? <laughs> there's, there's like a little. There's some canisters in here. Maybe I can blow them up later on. All right. So it's really funny that Deadeye, or uh, Bessie, I set her up so she could shoot them when they were here. Now they move. But maybe there's a chance that they'll move to a better position. So let me set up an overwatch. Oh, I don't know who I want to set an overwatch, though. You know what, Johnson? I'm going to move you up over to this tree. Because I just figured that we're probably going to send Jane upwards with a blade attack, depending on who we finish off. Oh, there are the supplies. Alright. We have a 79% 79, 79 chance on pretty much all of them. I don't know what the Viper is capable of, so I'm actually going to focus fire on it. Hmm, I'm just kind of considering things because I'm gonna fire my gun at it and I might as well What are my chances of hitting it from this position? Oh? Yeah, okay. We're gonna we're gonna go on overwatch Because while I could blade it that would leave me in the open depending on where it's going. We're gonna overwatch. Full cover is nice I can even grenade it, but yeah I'd rather chunk out its health he dodged it. Oh, shit. I might as well have thrown a grenade at On that rate. Cover's blown. <laughs> well, it's fucking dead now. That's for sure. Got him. Congratulations, hardcore. Uh-oh. Woo! Well, you've set yourself up in an interesting position, friend. Alright, how are we gonna do this? I could shoot it with my... my rookie. He's probably gotten a high enough... uh, rank up, though. We're just gonna shoot him in the face with Jane. <laughs> Or blade him. That has a high chance of high damage. Slash him up, man! Oh, not the explosive! What? No, 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 no. Yeah, there you go. And it still didn't finish him! <laughs> uh, well, I guess I am gonna have to finish him off with everybody else. James Johnson! I have no idea what you said. It might have been along the lines of, Please don't shoot me! Target or cease and desist what you're doing. Uh, the, yeah, if I was super cocky as an advent, I'd be like, wait, nope, hold up, nope. Just cease and desist. Copy that. You're in the wrong here, but we can talk this out. On the move. That's the equipment we're after. We'll have to do our best to avoid destroying the gear while we secure the area. Yeah, I'll make sure not to throw any of my non-existing grenades at it. Uh, I guess Susanna has it. Okay, now there is probably the enemies are probably going to be over here, over to this right area. It looks like there's kind of a destroyed ruin. They're not really ruins. <laughs> it looks like a set of power pylons. Okay. So we're going to make our way up. Whoops, I pressed R by accident. Reloaded. I was thinking about it. I made a Freudian tactical On decision. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do anyways, eventually, at least. Affirmative. 
Okay, we're gonna set ourselves up in Overwatch. Overwatch. Because they might patrol around and discover us. Oh no. I mean, I guess to be fair, we're not concealed. Well, at least someone activated my Overwatch. At least all the way for that eye. Ooh, and she got a kill immediately. Lovely. That's it. Well, they came to the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay. She can't do anything at the moment, so we're gonna put her in heavy cover. Ooh, I shouldn't have done that, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, well. The problem is if they shoot at us, we lose those supplies. We don't want to lose those supplies. Alright, 59% chance. Dice roll! Oh, yeah! Okay, we're in a little bit of a happy position. Position confirmed. Uh, I can't shoot from here, so I'm gonna have to just move up. He can't see this position without moving himself, so move, we should move, be good. Move. High ground advantage! And then we'll just do overwatch to prevent him from moving, or to encourage him not to move. Okay, using your turn to mark me for your absolutely no subordinates. Very interesting. Yeah, well, this is Jane. Have fun meeting her blade. She doesn't trigger Overwatch at all. Oh, what did you drop I here? Got that one. We oh. might need this. I like how it flew up here. Oh, we got a stock. I think got this here. is the package. Ah! No, not again! Jane's gonna die too at this fucking rate. Ready to rock. Yeah, Jane's fucking dead. Jane is just Missed the target. She's gone. There's nothing that can happen there. At least hardcore got a hit. That can- that makes me a little bit happier. <laughs> okay. So why can't she do anything? Oh, cause she's in pistol overwatch, son of a bitch. Well, at the very least she can see two people. We're gonna put her in the overwatch, just hope for the best. Jane's either about to get her shit wrecked, or she's gonna get saved by the sectoid. Nope, sectoid reanimated. Fuck. It begins again. Every time a sectoid pops up, pops up, my shit gets wrecked. Oh, thank God! Please hit this. No! He had only two health. Not even close. Oh, but he missed. He missed. He missed. There's still one guy, but we're, we're, there's no way that Jane's gonna die, unless he crits. He didn't crit. Alright. We're in a good spot. We're happy. We're fucking ecstatic right now. So I want to kill this sectoid, because it's a sectoid and I hate them. Uh, but I'm gonna focus on this advent. Just because it's a higher chance and he's all the way kind of the right. Okay, how are we gonna do this? I'd like to get a good shot off somewhere, somehow. What I might have to do, though, is just move backwards. Because right now we're in a little bit of a bad position. Let me see what we can do. Uh, we have a 79% chance to hit that zombie. I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna shoot the zombie. 
I don't want to. But the amount of times that I've been fucked by a zombie because I go, oh, well, I'll kill the sectoid by the time it was around. It's pretty high. It's really high at the moment. I'm trusting you here. In hindsight, I probably should have just smacked him with my sword, but oh well. Oh, holy shit, it sent the officer's body flying too. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, I got it, right? Rolling. All right, we'll just... Can I take a shot, 25%? Yeah, we'll just overwatch. Covering now. Ah, you tried dice. Er, hardcore. Oh, come on! Don't you fucking mind control hardcore! He's a rookie! What am I doing here? Okay, disorientations. I, I, I don't know what disorientation does, but it's better than being mind controlled. I'll just go do that then. Yeah, absolutely being disoriented fucks with my aim. 9% chance to hit. That's fine, whatever. Now, I could... Shoot... Ah, darn. Okay. I'm gonna try shooting him with my pistol. Because okay. <laughs> I'm gonna chunk out the sectoid's health, and then send... Send Jane to smack it in the face. Ah, oh, really? Okay. She can't shoot him with the pistol at the moment. Rock and roll! We'll take the shot anyways. Oh my god, it landed at a 9% chance! Hardcore, you're fucking boss level. Alright, let's be just honest about things here. Okay, Jane's gonna smack this thing with a sword because I'm... This is revenge for popping up at the worst possible time. Well, that's just really awkward. You know what, let's have a, uh, heart-to-heart -heart conversation. <laughs> well, I mean, what are the chances it has a melee attack, guys? Yeah, you better run away. He's gonna try to mine. Oh, oh, no hardcore! Oh my god! Oh my god! You little fuck ass! You killed hardcore! It was probably the last enemy too. Watch this. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Son of a bitch! Hardcore would fucking die. <sighs> Literally on the last turn. Alright. We've learned that, uh... We have learned that the sectoids are still very much capable of using normal attacks. They don't always use side attacks. Sh shit. <laughs> he fucking just instinct critted my rookie. That poor bastard. God, welcome to fucking Commander Divinity. If it works the same way as it did in the last game, Classic raised their chances of hitting by like 10% as well as their crit chance by like 10%. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's the only time a sector is shot so far. Well, I think it's like the second time. But it hit. The only time it's ever hit. Boom. Guy's gone. Oh yeah, yeah. Hardcore! Your first mission, you got two kills. I mean, I set one of those up for you, but. <sighs> Life is rough. The Viper's powerful tail muscles continue to clench reflexively for hours after their death. Though precautionary brain imaging shows no trace of higher order function. Well, that's good. Nice. Very nice! 128 supplies, 19 Illyrium crystals, and 2 Illyrium cores. And then alien alloys, but that seems good. 
Uh, let's see. This creature is clearly reptilian in nature, although it appears to not be... Uh, although it appears to be not only sentient, but also highly intelligent. Still, the underlying physiology is remarkably similar to a number of terrestrial species, including the venom sacs, which we might be able to synthesize and incorporate for in our, in our own medical... Uses? I didn't read the entire thing. <laughs> Power art capacity, low societies, unused delirium cores. What do I use delirium cores for? Projects? Yeah, yeah, stuff over here. Okay. Well, I could start researching another thing. Another MO type would be good for the crew. Because I don't know what else Illyrium cores are used for. I think Illyrium cores are pretty much used for this area, for the new project. Started right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. Yeah, I'll just be, you know... Scanning this black market area, so maybe I can get stuff. Uh, Commander, after our recent successes, members of the Resistance in West Asia have brought us reports of activity that we may want to investigate. Five days to investigate, and we get adventure power for it. Ooh. Things just keep popping up that, like, bring me to the side. Avenger plotting new course. Alright, that was an accident. But I guess we're gonna stick with it. I'm, like, dragging. I think I could probably use, yeah, I could use WASD. I'm just dragging with my mouse to look around. And that screwed me over. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. I've often wondered how the aliens could conceive of such a being. Is there another world out there filled with these shape-shifting creatures? Or are they merely another construct of alien genetic tampering? Well, let's see what your autopsies found out. Early reports from the Resistance referring, uh, er, uh, yeah. Early reports from the Resistance referencing an alien creature said to be capable of shapeshifting were initially dismissed by local cell leaders who attributed the sightings to combat stress and malnutrition. It wasn't until our own forces engaged with the creature that we successfully confirmed, confirmed its existence. Surprisingly enough, the description of the creature from those early reports was quite accurate. With a varying height of up to three meters, the specimen currently referred to as the Faceless has one of the most unusual internal structures I've ever encountered. Where one might expect to find a skeletal foundation, we instead see a series of malleable chitin-like structures, providing various points for the expansion of several equally unusual fluid membranes. The membranes in question are responsible for the faceless, ex the faceless extraordinary ability to mirror the form of a human. In recirculating key cellular combinations via an elaborate internal structure, the faceless is capable of for forming solid shapes while also mirroring colors and textures without physical sampling. As of yet, we've only seen evidence of Faceless attempting to imitate humans, but not other species or inanimate objects. Whether or not this is a limitation of the genetic makeup, or an intentional manipulation of their abilities by the aliens, we cannot say at this time. And now we have Mimic Beacons. The Mimic Beacon generates a holographic decoy to draw at enemy attacks for one turn. It is deployed like a grenade, thrown to the site where the decoy will appear. That would be nice for certain uh, parts, but I think we'll be fine. We're gonna go... I want plated armor and magnetic weapons, but we're kind of screwed on research time, so we're gonna go for the Viper Corpse. Although I would expect to be growing more accustomed to seeing the clear intermingling of both human and alien genetic material, I must admit, this reptilian creature with such distinctive human features is surprisingly unsettling. Invasion era reports include references to a species with some reptilian qualities, but nothing is readily apparent as this. Oh, they were trying to <laughs> fit in with everybody. Although I like how the thin men became snake women things. It has Dr. Shen's constant vigil plating. over my activities <laughs> is starting to wear thin. I consider myself a patient man, but eventually she's going to have to trust me if we're going to achieve our goals. Well, don't bitch about it to me. Tell that to Shen. I'm here trying to save the world by losing people one mission at a time, all right? Eventually, at some point, it's going to work out. All right. The black market has been successfully located, Commander. They seem to be willing to provide us with material support in exchange for intel. They're also eager to buy any unused items we can spare. All right. What do we have available? Uh, we could buy an engineer for 85 intel. 
we could increase magnetic research or magnetic weapon research time. I could increase the aim for one of my soldiers. Oh my god, dude. The black intel is awesome. Or the black intel, the black market is awesome. I mean, holy crap. The only problem is we're a little bit low on intel at the moment. So I kind of have to make the decision of what I want. Like, I could buy this engineer for 87. We don't really want to research magnetic weapons just yet. I could buy the engineer. That would help us massively with certain areas. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> I just... Oh boy. Alright. Is there anything I can get rid of? Not as much as I would like. Yeah, no, I, I definitely need to use some of these corpses for things. I'm pretty sure sectoid corpses are probably used for PSYOPs training and PSYOPs research. I, I'm just making an estimate, so we're, we're gonna leave that off. Uh, and then go for this Avenger power. Because that'd be nice, but first I'm going to send that engineer somewhere. Probably to the Proving Grounds. There you go. Artyom! You need to touch the pipes and increase our research speed. Avenger plotting new course. I like how as you're going to the different places, it reveals the map just a little bit more. You can actually see the texture of the land. That's nice. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome. Though it is intriguing, I find it unusual, to say the least, that the subject so often referred to in the past as the Thin Man has now been revealed to actually be a genetic derivative of this wholly reptilian creature. Alright, I find it truly remarkable how adaptable some of the alien species' genetics are to the constant tweaks they're often subjected to. In the case of the Viper, a species once identified as the infiltration unit known as a Thin Man, the aliens have made a conscious reduction in their efforts to disguise its true form. Without the introduction of extensive human genetic material, the Viper reverts to a purely reptilian form while apparently retaining the same intellect and combat aptitude. The Viper's snake-like form is in many ways similar to legless reptiles we commonly encounter on Earth. The enhanced torso uh, musculature allows for upright mobility and the addition of two physical, weak, but capable arms allows for the handling of traditional weaponry. Of the many alien species our troops encounter in the field, I find the prospect of encountering an intelligent snake standing over two meters tall to be the, among the most disturbing. Our Tegan. <laughs> okay, Tegan. What do we got? The venom injected by the, uh, the viper into its victims is nasty stuff, capable of taking out even the biggest, toughest soldier. However, it's it's co it contains a number of enzymes that could be isolated for use in our medkits. Greatly improving coagulation at wound sites. Well, that sounds exactly like what we did the last time we tried to do that stuff. So that's interesting. We're gonna start going for alien allies. That work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. I just I need I need more stuff. Uh, we Maximum need to build power a power relay. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what we were trying to do. We're trying to make our way down to this exposed power coil so we can make the most out of our power relay. But I might just have to build a power relay there and just Maximum give up. Power consumption reached. Power relay construction initiated. <laughs> so I do need to actually be able to make more stuff. So do we have any engineers available? No, not at all. Alright, just making sure we need more power. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. Well, I'm glad you think that, because we've lost a lot of people this month. But hey, we got new staff available. Dr. Margaret Pfizer and Anthony Willie. Oh god. We have received intel regarding the alien's current activities. Preparations to foil these dark events before they can be enacted are already underway. Alright, so... Ooh, the aliens improved their threat response procedures, guaranteeing reinforcements on all guerrilla ops for a month. 
That's definitely something I don't want to have happen. But we'll see what ends up going on. <laughs> we just keep stopping it for places. Oh, we got our supplies. Maybe. We might have to, yeah, we have to go all the way back to our HQ for that. Yeah. Dragon Rounds. Capped with a highly combustible mini charge, Dragon Rounds do bonus damage to all targets and can even set some targets alight. Yes, that sounds awesome. All right. Uh, oh, I have to finish scanning, right. <laughs> the last little pip. Neutralize target in advent vehicle. 175 supplies, 99 intel. Woo! That 99 intel five. definitely has Indian. my interest. One day I'll have the increased squad size. All right. Well, we might as well get Archie. Quick shot, Robertson. Archie, I've changed your nickname from Zeno to Quickshot because you were pretty awesome in the last game as a sniper. Although you're probably not going to be a sniper this time around. Funny enough, you might just end up as just like a ranger or maybe even a grenadier. We'll see. Um, we're going to give you... I'm going to give you a med kit, honestly, Robertson. Maybe you'll get hurt, and then I can heal you. Look at that, four health. Actually, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make the armor available. And just swap over to fire rounds. There. Because this is getting a little bit ridiculous. need my people to survive. They're not gonna survive if a 5% or a 5 crit just kills them, although it's probably gonna happen anyways. We'll give a med kit to the sniper. She's not doing anything else at the moment. Oh boy. At least we're making it through these missions. We're losing tons and tons of soldiers. But at the end of the day, the missions have been completed. Advent is transporting a high-value VIP through this area on board one of their transport vehicles. The spokesman would like us to ensure they don't reach their destination. Locate and capture the target if possible. Neutralize them if necessary. Don't leave any hostile forces standing in your way. All right. Neutralize target in Advent vehicle. So is the vehicle going to be stopped, or will it be moving around the area? Because I'll be thoroughly amused if we see just kind of a random car thing sliding around the world. Especially depending on how it looks. Alright everybody, Operation Magic Sky. We got a rookie, but he's not actually really a rookie. He's been around for a while. He was around during my days, 20 years ago. He just didn't advance that far, in my imagination. Menace 1-5, target location confirmed. Move to engage. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Okay. So, we start off being concealed, which is pretty good. I'd like to get up to this rooftop if possible. Because having someone on the roof would make me real happy. Okay. So we have 12 turns to kill the extract, or kill the enemy VIP. And extract all the way across from them. So we're gonna definitely have to play this in an interesting way. We'll dash upwards first. Affirmative. <gasps> an extremely well equipped mechanized combat unit. We'll need to look for vulnerabilities if we're going to take that thing out. Oh shit. Oh god, oh man, oh god, oh man. Okay. Understood, moving out. I uh 
I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> oh no. I could open fire? And maybe the problem is he's currently being flanked. And I believe if your character is being flanked, they get immediately spotted. Eyes on the prize. Scanning. We will find out. Oh my god. Oh my god. We were so close to being spotted. So fucking close. Oh, very first turn, we run into a mech unit. Or mechanical unit. Woo! <laughs> right now, I'm just trying to see how I can get up to this rooftop. If I had, like, a skeleton suit or something, maybe I could just grapple hook. But we don't have anything like that. Not yet, at least. Confirmed. Making the rounds. Oh boy. We found the VIP. Scanning. I just need someone to be on this rooftop. That would make me really content. Already there. Is ready to move. Target identity confirmed. Menace one five. Remember, we're here to capture Fuck. the VIP if possible. Knock them out and bring them in. Why'd you go through the window? Fuck! 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 Oh no! We're dead. This is it. This is the end of the campaign. We are in the worst possible positions right fucking now. Every single person is flanked. And the reason that is, is because I fucking didn't see that we were about to burst through a window. Goodbye, Jane. Oh, great. He fires rockets. Oh, great. <laughs> Why? Why did you go through the window? Why did you go through the window? I thought you were just gonna round the corner like every fucking Get other person! Here, There's no coming back from this. There's just so many fucking enemies. Don't talk to me. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Moving to designated coordinates. Well, at least we could, uh... Fire a pistol shot at this dude. Hostile neutralized. Shit went south so fucking fast because of one fucking mistake. <sighs> Shut up, you have the med kit on you. It's not gonna be enough though. The mech's gonna blast your ass. Oh no. It's going after quick shot. Yeah, you're not having a good day. Oh, she has the reaction shot thing. Oh, I completely forgot about that. So the biggest problem right now is, well, everything, everything is the biggest problem right now. Our chick is, is panicked, or our chick is grabbed, she can't do anything unless I, I shoot the reptile, and we have a mech behind us. 
Yeah, nope, that's that's bad. All right. If I can shoot that reptile, things will be better for us, maybe. But I also need this guy to die. Heading out. Now is an appropriate time to burst through the window. Okay. Three damage. Come on. <laughs> See, that's why you're going to die next turn, Dice. Although, I guess, to be fair, three damage wouldn't have helped anyways. Alright. This roof has fucked me so much. Why not allow me to get up to it? <laughs> why don't you have a pipe leading straight to the rooftop, man? Why you gotta do this to me? On the move. Of course that was a dash. <laughs> There's nothing we can do now, that god I what I could! No! I wanna go home! Well, you damaged the VIP. So it can't be said we didn't try to make an effort. Didn't miss that time. This is going to hell. If we had been able to do what I wanted to do... Oh, that's good. That's that's just GG right there. I wonder if it will instant kill him. Because I can't do anything. I have no abilities to do anything. Are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. Yep. All right. <laughs> They're just moving around still. <laughs> uh. Farewell, Archie. Oh my god, they actually fired at him? I didn't think they'd fire at somebody that's like twirled up in their own attack. At least he's not panicking anymore. He's calm in the face of his own death. And gone. Avenger, all XCOM operatives are dead or MIA. I'm returning to base. We have officially lost every single soldier with a rank. There's nobody in the Sky Ranger. It's completely empty. Everybody is dead. All the gear I put on them is gone. Because I ran through a fucking window. I'll have to work harder. We'll all have to work harder. I think it's time. I realize the conditions you are operating under are not ideal, Commander. But we will have to do better. The Resistance is counting on you. It's time. It's time. We're restarting the campaign. We're starting our real run. I don't care if there's like five more tutorials that I haven't gotten to. We are restarting the campaign. And we're gonna do shit right. We're not gonna lose people every single mission. We're not going to- well, okay, it still might happen, but we're just gonna hope things are better. And we're gonna play a little bit more optimally now that we know what have to do. What have to do. This was the plan originally. It just took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to, to get to this point. But after this, I mean, let me look at what we have in the soldiers. We might have one person with a rank. Let's see. View soldiers. We have four soldiers available. Literally, the amount of people you need for a squad. And they're all rookies. I can't. 
can't, <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> We're not having it. So it's time for the real campaign, everybody.